Hi everyone. I know a lot of you are taking screenshots to stick into the template to send to your students for them to work on. Here's a recommendation that I would have. I'm going to take a screenshot of this worksheet. It is at 90%, not 100% because I want to get all the questions. I'm going to my snippet tool. Let me save this screenshot. I'm going to close out of here and where I'm going to go, I'm going to go to a Google slide deck. Let me close out of the themes and I'm going to delete the default text boxes that are in here. First thing you do want to give your slides a name. Let's go to the file menu and we're going to scroll down to where it says page setup. In the page setup, you have the ability to change the size of your document to any size you want it to be. I want this to be an eight and a half by 11. I'm going to apply. Now I'm going to go up to the icon menu where it says background, and I'm going to choose an image. The image I'm going to upload and choose is that worksheet image. By doing this, it's not movable now. It's a part of the document. Let's zoom in and make this a little larger so we can see what we're doing. Now, I'm going to add a text box to the name. Notice quickly if I click out of the text box, it disappears. So it's important to put instructions so it indicates that there is a text box there. Now I'm going to go down to every question and I'm going to add a text box for each question. I'm going to select this text box maybe make it a little bigger and I'm going to control C copies control V paste let's move it into place and I'm going to fill the worksheet with all the text boxes once I have all my text boxes in this worksheet I can go to the magnifying glass and do a fit to view I'm going to select all these text boxes by just drawing the your selector tool over top of them and you can go up to the arrange align and align everything to the left so they're nice and even but what I've done now I've inserted the image in the background and I've put text boxes so now this worksheet is editable by your students you can attach it in your Google classroom and make a copy for all hope you enjoyed this short video have a great day